So, other than flying aircraft, this is what I do in the real world. To show you a little bit, driving an articulated truck or a semi truck if you're an American. Um, yeah, I've just tipped in a place called Pershaw, Worcestershire, that way. Back to Felixstowe, and that's me finished for the weekend. It's about three hour, three and three and three quarter hour drive from here. It's 177 mile. Just finishing off a break, so let's go. So, yeah, I thought I'd show you guys what I do in the real world. It's 10 a.m. on a Friday, so I should be back at a reasonable time. Do -do. That's a proximity sensor, so. Poxy thing. Yeah, on my new channel. Oh, let me uh, find a bit bouncy. I'm afraid. On my new channel. I haven't got a lot of detail on there, but on my old channel, people were asking, oh, "Do you fly planes for the in the real world?" Uh, no, no, no. Sadly, I would love to, but I think I'm too old for that now. If I had the money, I would definitely do it. But I'm early 50s at the moment, so sadly it's not an option. Not unless I win the lottery or there's a good sponsor somewhere. I've tried numerous times over the years. I've even wrote to, in the 90s, Sir Richard Brems. I was going to be at a training program. His he, secretary got back to me actually. Um, I got all the literature from a company, I think it might be California, I'm not 100% sure, um, but it was in the 90s. That was Flight Safety International. Great package they sent me. I just didn't have the funds, don't have the funds to become a pilot. I would have believed I made a good pilot if I'm honest with the right training. I uh, worked for General Motors in the 90s and 2000s, uh, early part of 2000, the noughties as they call them, and uh, well, travelled the world for them, America, Japan, but both times when I came back on the old Microsoft simulator, Back then, in the 90s, I, uh, I'd done the real-world flights. I came back, and I did the flight that I'd been on for real. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, After half a mile, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A46, towards Ulster. Apologies for the sat nav, but I do like the audible thing, just keeps me alert, paying attention, blah blah blah. A lot of people just re rely on the visual side, but it's always good to have a backup. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. <clears throat> but even if I know where I'm going, which I do from this area, it's good to have it because uh, I've got a live sat nav and. Uh, what that does is it alerts me of any diversions I may need to take. If um, a forty-six towards Stratford for three miles. If there's a um, an accident, uh, roadworks, that sort of thing, so it gives me live updates, which is why I have it anyway. <coughs> Let's get past him. He'd be slow. It'll be about 50 mile an hour this Waitrose truck. <coughs> oh, roadkill. Nice. Very sad of, 
bad side effect of the job. Poor little animals in the road are splattered. Being an animal lover, it's not a very nice thing to see. And now he's building speed and he's not going to let me past. <laughs> I find that all too effort, often in this country. They're not, they're not courteous, courteous to other drivers, really. You see somebody making progress. And, uh, yeah, they won't let you in. I do. This is I've been brought up, I've been taught. You don't get nowhere in this world by being ignorant, do you? Which is another reason I would have made a good pilot. I'm courteous. <laughs> I will go on about it. After all, this is a flight simulation come gaming channel. There's not actually much to see here at the moment. It's a nice day, but it's a bit chilly outside. Average temperature is, what is it now? Six and a half degrees C, not F, C. Celsius, Celsius. Yes, so I ship shipping containers all around uh, the UK. Still bloody waiting for my uh, Bravo throttle quadrant. I've got it on order from Amazon After okay. half a mile, right since about, and September last year, 2020. It got pushed back a couple of times, and um, and it's now. Saying they don't know when it's going to be delivered, so not too good. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. As you probably can tell by the way I'm driving, I'm empty. It's an empty container, it's a reefer, fridge box, if you like. Take the exit, A46. Just delivered a load of spring onions. Full load. Oh, what do they call them? What do you, call, what do you guys call them in America? Spring onions. Uh, what do they call them? What do they call them? Follow A46. I can't remember for the life. Stratford for 5.5 miles. Oh, yeah, what do they call them? Anyway, spring onions. I guess talk a little bit more about the channel uh, I will be launching some merchandise with logos and etc try and keep them reasonably priced but yeah I mean it's gonna be a channel it's like a revamp, if you like, from the Captain Wingnut side of things. Still the same thing, but slightly different. As and when I can afford some tech, I should be buying tech for reviews and that sort of thing. But primarily, 
flight but on the old channel I was doing Grand Theft Auto truck simulator, train simulator um, X-Plane Microsoft 2020 I have flight simulator however I It looked fabulous, but it, the, the aircraft side of it looked a bit cartoony for me. Didn't look as realistic as the plane, and yet the scenery in Microsoft Flight, flight Simulator is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, but it, uh, it was assigning buttons and things like that. It was like, why are you not working? Why are you not working? Oh, why? Did you see that? It's a bird that flies straight towards me. Suicide mission. So, uh, yeah, um, please ignore that speed camera warning, which is redundant, as you can see. Um, where was I? Uh, yeah, it was, uh, trying to assign buttons and get things to do things, but doing this job, I work away a week, I've said it many, many times, I'll say it again, I get one day a week at the moment to do it, I, I, I would love to do it full time, streaming, gaming, reviews, tech, blah, 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 I'm not in a position to, unless I get loads of viewers and sponsors and uh, this sort of thing. Loads of people do it. Am I good enough? Probably not. I'd like to be. But I'm getting there bit by bit. I've, I've got most of the equipment I need to, to do these things. But like I say, I'm in the, uh, I don't want to be doing this the rest of my life until the, <laughs> to the day I die or to the day it kills me. what it will. It's a very unhealthy lifestyle truck. Yeah, it's time to put my feet up. Although I wouldn't actually be putting my feet up. I'll still be working, I'll still be working hard for you guys. Incidentally, if uh, anybody's got any uh, flights they would like me to do, uh, I, I choose to use the uh, Zebo 737 at the moment. Um, I'm going to start going back to using the 74 if I can find a good one. I do like the Queen of the Skies, I must admit. Now, I, I would take to Airbus. A lot of you guys choose Airbus. Nothing wrong in that at all. But I just. Uh, it's the side stick thing for me. It just doesn't come natural, you know. An aircraft is. With the exception of fire planes and jets and things like that. Fire jets and things. Um, uh, it's always been a yoke. Why Airbus went down that route was probably to, if you look at the A380 for example, they've got a keyboard and that sort of thing they can pull out from where the yoke would be and they've got more room. I do see the appeal. And I guess After if you... Mile, cross the roundabout and take the first exit, A46, towards Stratford. I guess if you um been trained on it, it comes second nature I guess. And I do have the Hotus Warthog system. Oh, it's fabulous. I haven't used it for a while because I'm just trying to keep that natural feel of a Boeing and a, what an aircraft means to me, if you like. But, uh, it's a shame really, because I've paid, the paid a fortune and take the first exit, A46, towards Stratford. But it won't go to waste. Seven miles to the moon. 
motorway or highway. Yeah, so if there's any uh, <coughs> routes you would like to see me do or scenarios. So all my footage has got lost when we have a channel. I might see if the PCs should have someone there. I run two computers on my setup and uh, may have some footage of old flights I may put on them. Incidentally, the one I did last week, the first one on there, I may take the landing off because it's an absolute abomination. I bounced off that runway. I came in too fast, I wasn't prepared, I should have gone round. After half a mile, uh, cross the roundabout but I and take the second for a while. exit, A46, towards Litterfield. Because you'd have heard on the video, on the street, um, I've been having some serious issues with my setup, and I don't know what it is. But let's take X camera, for instance. Fabulous, fabulous. I did download the new version. Absolutely hated the inter interface. So I got rid of that and Cross I went back the to the old version. And take the second exit, A46, but towards Litterfield. In the middle of a stream, a flight, a simulation, a game, whatever you want to call it, I do certain manoeuvres with the uh, the the, uh, the hat switch, if you like. Once I'm in view, and then press the, the, the key binding to go back to a view, it just does a weird random view doesn't go back to where that key's bound for so I don't know what's going on there but it's it's possibly something I'm doing wrong or something I don't know on about a 46 Kings but, Lane, but, get, for four miles. but getting limit, limited to one day a week to sort these things out I just want to fly If you if you if you did see on my old stream, it was under the uh, pseudonym, pseudonym, the name of Captain Wingnut, which I still go by that name. But the channel is uh, Angry Bear. It's the channel, man. Um, I did a round the world trip in the 737s. It was when COVID first started because I was going to. San Frontiers and uh, that them kind of aircraft on missions. So I took the 737 around the world, stopping off, um, planned the route so a real life 737 would make that distance, if you like. I wasn't sort of like flying from Australia to England non stop, refueling halfway in the setup and carrying on. I wasn't doing it like that, I was doing it as real world situation so sticking within the range of that limit and the limitations of that aircraft so I may do something like that again in the future well I should be streaming uh, tomorrow which will be Saturday the 17th of April 2021 can't put a time on it at the moment Mind you, by the time I post this video, it will probably be today. So, but yes, yeah, so I don't really... See, I, I travelled from Heathrow to Split in Croatia last week, last week's flight. I may do the return journey this week, just to finish it off nicely. Bring the holiday makers home. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Should be a relatively easy flight.
here so apologies for the uh the view there's not a great deal to see at the moment it's just me waffling after on half a mile cross the roundabout and take the first exit a46 towards birmingham slow traffic on a46 lane closures between a46 commentary east and bypass and b4082 two minutes delay see that's what i mean you see it gives me updates and i can make a decision if it doesn't suggest anything it's a serious delay i can make a decision to alternate elsewhere i um I should Cross add. the roundabout and take the first exit, A46, towards Birmingham. Going back to the simulation side of things. I do train, or I have trained, and I still will continue to do so. In a real life 737 simulator. Um, me and a friend of mine, we do that every so often. We did have a booking for 2020 up till Christmas, I think it was valid for, but it's been put off because we decided not to do it because of COVID. But uh, it's fine. But yeah, we do, uh, we go away for the weekend. Flight simul real, real flight simulation, I should say. The real simulation. But it's all good. I think it was his last visit. I loved my last visit. I asked a question, and he told me. He said, if I flew like I flew on that day, he said, you, you would have flown that aircraft fine, you would have landed fine. I think it was a bit of a bumpy landing, if I remember rightly, but nothing was broken and everybody stayed alive. Happy passengers, happy airline company. That's what it's all about. After half a mile, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A46, towards Coventry. But yeah, I'd like to spend a bit more time doing it. I really enjoy it. Yeah, even looking at the sky now, I think I should be up there. I think I was born to fly, I just didn't, haven't. envious of these youngsters that um, have parents that can, can uh, pay for their flight training and what I would say to those youngsters is lucky so-and-so's lucky lucky boys and girls You know, it's hard for somebody that has a passion that many people the world over um, that have the passion 
but just don't have the means, the funds. So when they tell you you can be anything you want to be, it's not really true, is it? Where there's a will, there's a way. It's not true either, is it? <laughs> so. Well, I'm going to become a pilot earning a hundred thousand dollars or a hundred thousand pounds a year. Yeah, that's not going to really wash with a bank manager when he says, "Well, you're not doing it now, are you?" But uh, yeah, uh, I've tried all sorts. Wrote to airlines, but. No, I don't even have a private pilot's license because my reason for that is I have had the money to do that over the years. Um, but for me, is where would I go with it? I couldn't afford an aircraft. Yeah, I could rent an aircraft for leisure. But again, when would I get to do it? While I, while this is my bread and butter. I have to work. I need a rich sugar nut. Although my partner would wa probably watch this video and she will probably give me a slap around the head if she hasn't already. She's not my sugar nut. In fact, I better be careful because she's uh, works with the deceased. If I carry on like that, I think I'll become one of them. <laughs> so, yeah. She's my sugar mama with no sugar. <laughs> Sweetness. <laughs> Artificial sugar. No, I'm digging, I'm digging, a, digging a bigger hole, aren't I? Many young boys, well not so much these days, I don't think they all want to become footballers or I don't know. But uh, when I was growing up, youngsters, boys, ah oh, yeah I like to drive a lorry when I'm older, drive a truck, become a truck driver. So, you've got to be grateful, one, for doing a job two for driving, you know, they really, apart from dispatch, uh, I'm trying to cater for uh, the American and Canadian market, as well as us Brit British, with the lingo, but yeah, there's a uh, dispatch or office department, traffic department, whatever you want to call it. I forgot where I was going with this thing. <laughs> Damn. Damn. But yes, uh, yeah, uh, nobody really tells you what to do here. Uh, you've got the uh, traffic department that will tell you your jobs. But, uh, yeah. There's nobody watching me constantly. There is one, one or two firms, companies here in the UK. They have in dash facing camera as well. Any company that I work for that ever got them installed, I would be gone. I would be gone. Invasion of privacy, I'd say.
So 13 miles to the motorway stroke highway of the one we want, the M6 to the A14 all the way to Phoenix. We will join one of Britain's longest roads I would say and we travel the full length of it which is the A14 which is uh, it comes under, under Northamptonshire I think and it takes us all the way to where we want to go to Felix though in Suffolk so I think it's a junction 1 to 62 I think is 62 the one week the last one but anyway that's after the m6 which is a horrible horrible motorway coming up to that lane closure soon in about four miles stayed behind me he would have come off at almost exactly at the same time so he had to slow down anyway there's not a lot of road sense with some of these British drivers motorcycles whatever So I started at 2 a.m. this morning. I've only got a short day left, I've used my hours up. It's fine sunny Friday. And uh, I have to After three... half a mile, take the exit A46 towards Birmingham, then get right on the roundabout and take the fourth exit A45 towards right along Duns Wall. 3 p.m. I have to take the exit. And it is 10:35. Right and take the fourth exit. I've had my break, so we are in pretty good stead. I should be back there about. I will be stopping for coffee and a donut. Not a donut, just a coffee. After 600 feet, get right on the roundabout and take the fourth exit, A45, towards right and on Duns Moor. Highway. Oh, shit. 
engaged autopilot, that's what that is. It's a big roundabout, I think, that's where it is. Uh As it keeps moving, I'll be happy. This roundabout coming up has always been a pain, even without the roadworks. <laughs> Looks like they're trying to ease it, I think, possibly. Look at that, I'm nowhere near that barrier, though. Oxy sensor. Stupid. Don't mind a bit of health and safety, but this is uh, just ridiculous. It's a distraction more than a, 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 a good measure. If a driver has not got his wits about him, not looking around, he should be driving. I mean, I can see in the mirror, I'm two and a half feet maybe away from it. 
plenty. Don't even have to look at it. I know where I am in the road. Why? Why? Why have that? I think it's to do with cyclists in and around London and congested city and town areas. <clears throat> but like I say, it's more of a distraction. After a quarter of a mile, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A46, towards Wallsgrave. Wallsgrave. Going into four. After 600 feet, cross the roundabout and point. take the second exit. A yeah, it's down to two while they towards Wallsgrave. Yeah, one, two, three. Cross the roundabout left. and yeah. take the second exit. That's right. But it's now down to two, as you can see. Which doesn't make it pretty. piece of tarmac, a new bit of road, sometimes, and it's like, oh my god, this is, you, you'd be as well be putting us on a roller coaster. You know, sometimes, the, the, the quality of your is rubbish. I remember once, many, many years ago, I went to After France and Belgium, cross the roundabout and take the second and, exit, uh, A46, towards Coventry North. And I remember the first time that I got seen this particular piece of road. I think it may be Belgian rather than France, but anyway. And it was just like driving on glass. It was so smooth. But then we, a few years back, me and my brother and some others, a few of us, we took our motorcycles, we went touring around Germany. And that was the same. That was the same. It was. It's just like, why can't people get it right? Why, why, why are we so stupid? And take the second exit, A46. Stupid's a strong North, word, but why are we so the poor? Exit. Should we say poor quality workmanship? So well, and say goodbye in British, but. Trouble is, if you're not very good, don't bother. <laughs> Guys, I've been waffling around to you lot, you lot, for three quarters of an hour. My, my, my. Well, we get to the, uh, the motorway, or maybe even the A14, I don't know. We're leaving now and uh, I'll catch up with you guys on the simulator, I guess. After 1.2 miles, take the exit A46 towards Coventry North. I mean, you look at this lay-by to the left. We're expected to stay at places like this overnight. It's just not safe. It's too close to the road. You get waking up by passing vehicles. Your truck is swaying in the night. It's just crazy. It's 
just crazy. In the night when you're trying to sleep, the trucks left and right to and fro. They don't cater for us truck drivers over here either, not really. The road's terrible. After half a mile, take the exit A46 towards Coventry North. The thing then is, the left. The price they charge, it's just that's criminal. Take the exit, then keep left. Yeah, you can pay up to thirty pounds, over thirty pounds, some some places just to park overnight. Asking for you uh, to sleep with your wife as well. What's all that about? After a quarter of a mile, keep left, then get right I on the roundabout and take the fourth exit. <coughs> keep left, then get right on the roundabout and take the fourth exit. Signs, don't I? I'd rather be flying. Go right on the roundabout and take the fourth exit. Oh, I'm going to label this video as I don't know. Hey, you guys, look what I do in the real world. Oh, somebody thinks I'm on a race track. Autopilot again. So glad I'm empty going back. Oh, 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 oh. It's a reef it can't be used again, it needs to be cleaned out and uh, temperature set for the next customer, whatever their requirements are. Thing about that. Ugh. What on earth is going on here? I am 
slightly faster than some of the other vehicles on the road. Not the fastest, but <coughs> we are limited here in the UK to a maximum of 60 miles per hour. But uh, some of them do go over that. Mine doesn't, obviously. Mine's 56 miles per hour. And it is 56 miles per hour. When I join the A14, I think I've got about an hour's drive to where I'm going to go and get my coffee. So, there's a little way yet. <coughs> there are one or two places on the way, but... No, he's changed his mind. He was going in there. on the A14 and call it a day there with a the video hope you've all enjoyed yourselves <laughs> wasn't really much to see is it <laughs> but uh, yeah just wanted to chit chat and show you guys what I do in the real world so please like and subscribe and all them good things it would be very much appreciated. Uh, I stream on Facebook as Angry Bear, Twitch as Angry Bear, and YouTube as Angry Bear Gaming and Simulation stuff. Yeah. So 
I hope to see you guys there. But anyway, let's just get the remainder of the uh, motorway out of the way.